Alright, listen my guy. It's been fun. I'm trying to record a video. You're taking too much time. We'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing you, my guy. Wh what do you mean? What? Oh. Pfft. What? Yo, what's up you guys? It's your boy, Alaskan Blizzard, back at it again today with another video. And today's video is going to be on nuts and bolts and the best ways to farm it. I've had a lot of lower level people tell me that they just think they can they can only get like nuts and bolts from cars and like that's about it. So they were like, "Oh, there's so much there's more ways." And I was like, "Yeah." So, I'm going to make this video for all you lower levels that just aren't sure like how many ways there are to get nuts and bolts. But before we get into it today, I want to give a huge shout out to Wood and Caleb for being my first Patreons. If you guys did not know, I make no money off YouTube currently and it doesn't seem like I'll be making any money for a while because I guess my account was under review until like the end of June so that kind of sucks so if you guys want to support in any way I'll leave my Patreon link down below and Superboy got the funniest comment last video so I'm gonna put him up on screen right now pretty funny comment if you guys want to be showcased in the video just comment something really funny you know like I said you can roast me but I think my analogy Last video was like pretty spot on. Like every time I wake up now, it literally just feels like Christmas morning because like I'm getting thousands on top of thousands of views. We already just gained like another thousand subs in less than 24 hours. I hope this keeps going, but you know, I just I gotta keep working at it, and you guys gotta keep coming back. I hope I make some interest. I hope you guys are interested in the videos that I make. Thank you guys so much for being here. I thank all my subs. Thank you so much. If you guys want to turn on post notifications to know every time I post a video. That would be really cool too, but let's just get right into today's video. Alright guys, the first way and the most obvious way is obviously breaking cars. I think it's like a random amount every time. I'm not really sure if there's a guaranteed amount. Sometimes you don't even get it from cars, but see like right there we got two. And then sometimes you can even get six, I think. Maybe that's only with an Outlander. But also, if you're going to do the car method, you need to have an Outlander. And Pathfinders are, I'm almost positive, the best to use for it. So if you have a Pathfinder Outlander, you definitely need to make sure to be using her. I think there's only female version, so yeah, make sure to use her. And then they also have this punch ability that you can do. I forget what it's called, but you can like break material and it instantly breaks it and gives you the rewards from breaking it. So like that, we already get the nuts and bolts from that. And we got five right there and we get the metal as well. So there's also that ability on the Outlander. So if you're going to farm like this, if you're going to farm cars, Definitely make sure to have an Outlander on and if you also have another like Outlander like a Pathfinder You can also slot them in your bonus and you'll get even more damage from your pickaxe So if you're gonna go that method just make sure to definitely use an Outlander But let's move on to the second one the second way is if you're in a suburban area I think they can also be in industrial parks sometimes or industrial places They are there are power plants and these tend to give you like quite a bit of nuts and bolts and they definitely give you quite a bit of metal as well. More than cars as far as I remember. See, just one is already eight nuts and bolts. We got another six. These give you, in my opinion, on average, way more than cars do. We're already at 20 just for destroying like a few things. Like It gives you like an insane amount. And again, make sure to use that Outlander and you'll destroy these things so much faster. Also, I'm not going to do a whole nother number about it, but parks also work very well. Like If you're destroying seesaws or the swing sets or any of that, they work very well too, just nowhere near as many as a power plant like this. Like these give you so many nuts and bolts. I don't even know how many we've gotten already, but we've gotten quite a lot. But let's move on to the third one. The third way is anomalies. So basically, some anomalies give a metal reward, like this one. This one gives a metal reward. So let's go ahead and break this. We break it, and then we're coming over here to grab all the pieces. Retrieve that shard. Usually there's always, there's always four shards that come out of it. But yep, we're going to get some metal and some nuts and bolts out of this. Mm, retrieve that shard. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, that one's high up. Okay, we'll just go to this one. Mm, retrieve shard. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we got this one. And let's jump down, get our reward. So you see the nuts and bolts right there? We got 112 metal and 27 nuts and bolts. You get an insane amount of nuts and bolts. But let's get on to the fourth method. The fourth way is towers. So you can go to radar tower missions or anything like that. Yes, you'll lose some type of some kind of material, but usually you get 
like a lot more back anyway. So this one's a metal tower. And it's made out of bricks, so you're going to be getting a brick reward. So as you can see right there, it's made out of metal. But also, you won't you won't just get metal. You're also going to get um, nuts and bolts. I'm trying to concentrate on the build. I see we have a, a bee guy down here. Ooh, they're just... Look at them. It's like watching cattle. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Oh, they looked at me. Oh, they looked at me. Mm, mm, come on, we got to get on with this build. Where, what do you, where you going? What do you mean? Let's go. All right, so we're gonna come up here, build this. We need a window here, build that. Um, let's go through here. Ooh, I miss editing on battle royale. Editing on battle royale just feels so much faster. On here is a little slow. Let's build that. I believe I have enough. Kind of low on brick, but that's all good. So we're gonna come here, here, here here and we're good so let's go ahead and activate it and once we activate it we're gonna go down and get the gift and then let's get the gift and let's see if we get some nuts and bolts yep we got some sleek some sturdy and some nuts and bolts we got 45 nuts and bolts for that so much more than the last time so definitely radar towers are really good for that but let's move on to the fifth all right guys the fifth way is shadow orbs so shadow orbs also drop metal so all you have to do is kill the mist monster that pops out and the normal zombie so let's go for the mi- Ooh, peekaboo. What do you mean? Oh, this is actually- This is not expected. You know, big smasher in here. Alright, well, still all we gotta do is kill him and then that little zombie and we're good. So we should get some nuts and bolts out of that. And we did. So we got 27 nuts and bolts, 5 sturdy, and 32 metal. So that's pretty good. Also, I can't seem to find an encampment, but the next one was gonna be an encampment. But just know if you see- If you go near an encampment- and you see metal as the reward, which is basically everything that we've been doing. If you see metal as the reward on an encampment, that also counts for nuts and bolts. So you're going to get a lot of nuts and bolts, especially if you have a large encampment. If you have a large encampment, you're going to get a lot more nuts and bolts than if you had a small encampment. So as long as you see metal as the reward, you will get nuts and bolts from it. So let's just go on to the last one. Actually, not the last one, but the next one. Whoops. All right, guys. The sixth way are these little cans on the map. So if you're not in a city and you can't really find cars anywhere, if you can't find power plants, they've put this in the game. This is one not too many people know about. There's cans. Sometimes they're little rectangular cans. Um, just there's sometimes they're just tin cans all around the outside of the map. You can only find, as far as I know, you can only find them on the outside. But when you search them, sometimes you can get nuts and bolts, or sometimes you can get bacon. Like right there, we just got nuts and bolts. You get two. And if you just keep running along the course of the map, like the very outside, you will keep finding nuts and bolts in those like cans. There could be different kinds though. It's not. It doesn't just look like that. There are different kinds, but they're just scattered throughout the outside of the map, like the exterior of the map. But let's move on to the next. So on to the seventh. If you find like mechanic shops or even sometimes stores, stores and mechanic shops can have these red toolboxes or little green ones like these. But these red ones should give nuts and bolts. Sometimes they do. So we got wall dynamos out of that, which you can recycle for nuts and bolts. Let's see. And then we got some sturdy out of that. But yeah, most times if you come in here, you should be able to find some nuts and bolts just by searching stuff. You don't even need to break stuff. You should just be able to search stuff. So right there, we just got some batteries. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here we can salvage. Um, I know you can break these. If you guys didn't know, you can break these for nuts and bolts. Um, like air conditioners give quite a bit. But I think that's it for in here. But yeah, so most of the time, if you do search these red boxes, like you are able to get nuts and bolts from them. But I'm going to kind of show you in the next one that I'm about to do how the... Because usually when you get nuts and bolts out of these, it kind of associates with an expedition you can do. But I'll show you that right now. Alrighty, guys. So for the last one, it's these red toolboxes right here on your expedition. These can give crafting supplies and most of the time they can give nuts and bolts. And there are a few other ways that you're able to get nuts and bolts. Like, you can kill mist monsters or just, like, certain enemies, since enemies now drop supplies in the game. It's just it's not that good to farm them. Like, I mean, yes, it's really cool that when you kill things now, you are able to get, like, nuts and bolts, like, sturdy, like, some parts out of them. But you can't really farm them. That's just kind of, like, an extra thing you get for killing them now. Also, you are able to get them out of siphons. But I don't know if it's just my account, but now... I can't see what you get out of a siphon. Like when I activate it, it doesn't show what kind of reward you get. 
But the gist of this video is, if you see an encampment, a shadow orb, like anything like that, any of those things, if they have a metal reward on them, they will give you nuts and bolts, like 99.9% .9 of the time. Also, like toolboxes, cars, air conditioners, anything that's made out of metal that you can either search or break, that, that will also give you nuts and bolts. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, you can leave a like and comment. Like, just comment, like... Whatever you want, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I just, I, li I like reading your guys' comments. If you guys want to share this to your friends, that'd be really dope too. We're definitely growing out here. We just hit 5K recently. If you guys didn't know, if you made it this far, if you made it this far, I have a Discord where I talk to like all of my subs that are like offline. So if you guys want to go ahead and join that, it's in the description down below. But that'll be it for me today, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.